Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to cut a simple booboo dress. A booboo gown is a gown that is free, alright? So it's a long booboo gown. I have four years of African print here on my table and I've made some markings on it already. So let me explain what I did to you. Alright, so my the measurement of my shoulder is 16 inches divided right by 2 is 8 inches. So I marked 8 inches here. Alright, so this kind of gun, the sleeve is not cut separately. The sleeve is, is cut with the body of the gun. Alright, so the length of my sleeve is 11 inches. So I marked 11 inches here. So from my shoulder to the length of my sleeve is now 19 inches. Okay. So from my shoulder to my bust is 10 inches. I added one inch to make it 11 inches. From the shoulder to my waist is 17 inches. And from shoulder to my hip, 25 inches. Then shoulder to the length of my gown is 60 inches plus two inches allowance, okay? Now, the circumference of my bust is 36 inches divided by four is nine inches i added two inches allowance one inch for ease and one inch for sewing all right then on my waist circumference of my waist is 32 inches divided by four is eight inches plus two inches allowance all right then my hip is 40 inches divided by four is 10 inches plus 2 inches allowance all right so at the hem i want it to be a bit free because i will not add any slits i measured 12 inches i measured on my hip line all right so this is the 12 inches i measured on my hip line and i added extra 4 inches making it a total of 16 inches so that is what i did and i connected the lines together i connected the lines so all you do you connect from your boss to your waist from your waist to your hip and from your hip to the hemline of the dress okay now if you want it to be very free i don't want mine to be very free that is why i added the waist measurement that's why I added the waist measurement. So if you want it to be very free, you just divide your hip measurement by four. Divide your hip measurement by four. Then add two to three inches allowance and take that measurement from the bust to the M line of the dress. What do I mean? For example, my hip measurement is 40 inches. Divided by four is 10. So I will add 3 inches allowance, making it 13. So I will measure 13 here, 13 here, 13 here, to the end of the video. But I want mine to have a little shape. That is why I use both my waist measurement and my bust measurement. All right. So my round sleeve is, this is what I see. My round sleeve is 9 inches. So I added 1 inch for ease to make it, I added, sorry, I added 1 inch for ease to make it. 10 inches okay so i connected it to the bust line then came down by one inch look at it here then connected it with a curve all right with a curve for the bust all right now for the shoulder slope i came down by one and a half inches i came down by one and a half inches here and connected it to the neckline all right so for the neckline i'm going to cut the one for the back first, then later I will cut the one for the front. Okay, so the one for the back I have three and a half. I hope you can see it. So my neck width is three and a half, and my neck depth is one and a half inches. My neck width is three and a half, and my neck depth is one and a half inches. Okay, then. For my front, for the front neckline, I will still take the same three and a half. Then I will come down by six inches, right? Come down by six inches and connect. All right? So it's as simple as A, B, C. Okay? That's what I did. Let me go through it again. So better understanding. I said my neck 
width is three and a half inches for the back neckline by one and a half and my neck for the my neck for the front is three and a half inches by six inches for the front okay so let's cut please after cutting the back neckline don't cut the front neckline don't make that mistake you have to bring out the back first before cutting the front okay so this is what we have let's cut this is the back neckline all right this is my shoulder slope okay this is my sleeve length all right to avoid gaping at the under of the sleeve you can come in by one inch and connect it back to the sleeve you want the artist option now all right it's as simple as a b and c so let's go to the bust cut it to the bust all right straight to the waist to the hip or you can see and straight to the hem of the dress okay i'm trying so hard for you to see it on my camera okay so that is as simple as abc so this is the back neck line all right now because i made it in the form of an a line i'm going to add a little curve at the bottom okay so i'm going to add a little curve on the bottom so what i'm going to do i will go up by two inches okay and connect it go up by two inches connect it with a curve then cut it as a b and c okay so this is what we have let me show you so this is my neckline back neckline my sleeve waist hip then the length of the gown okay i'm going to add pocket to my gown so i'm going to notch the waistline so that i will know where to add my pocket all right now to cut the front neckline remove the back neckline i repeat to cut the front neckline you have to remove the back neckline then you cut the front very simple don't make that mistake of cutting the front while the back is still inside so this is my front neckline all right Make sure that everything is smooth. Okay, so this is my phone. So let me show you. Okay, so this is the back panel of the boo boo gown, and this is the front panel of the boo boo gown. So that is it on how to cut a boo boo gown. It's a very simple thing to do. All right, it's as simple as ABC. Please, if you love my videos, subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Till I see you in my next tutorial. Bye.